Hey guys, Caleb here. I'm a full stack engineer at Pieces, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get started with the Pieces Raycast extension. The Raycast extension created by Pieces has been a very highly requested and one of our newest extensions uh, that we're coming out with today. And yeah, the, the team is just super happy to be bringing this to you guys and uh, looking forward to what everybody thinks about it. So yeah, with all of that said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get started uh, with the demo showcasing the different capabilities uh, that are available within the Raycast extension. So my Raycast shortcut or my Raycast extension short or my shortcut to open Raycast is Command H. So when I go ahead and do that, you can see if I just type in pieces, we have quite a few different commands that uh, you can do uh, utilizing pieces. So the first one I'm going to do, uh, well, first and foremost, like like with any of our other extensions, Pieces OS is required in order to utilize the Raycast extension. So if I go ahead and if I try to like save my clipboard to Pieces, for example, um, it's going to immediately ask me to install Pieces OS because it was able to detect that I don't actually have Pieces OS installed. And if I just go ahead and, I, and hit enter here, you can see it's going to go ahead and download Pieces OS for me. And pretty shortly here, it's going to go ahead and open an installer uh, that I will then be able to use to install Pieces OS. So if you've never used Pieces before and this is your first ex uh, experience utilizing Pieces is within Raycast, um, then yeah, Pieces OS is going to be required for just about any of our applications. So yeah, any moment here. Yep. And then so here's the here's the Pieces OS installer. And then once I'm here, all I have to do is just click through install and there we go now we have pieces OS installed and you can see once we've installed pieces OS it's gonna go ahead and it's going to save that snippet that I have here looks like it's taking a moment uh, it's in the boot up process but yeah there we go so we have Pieces OS installed. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. And now that we have that, we can go ahead and show off some of the other features that are available in the, in the Raycast extension. So yeah, now that we have Pieces installed, we can go ahead and we can use the rest of the features that are available uh, within the Pieces Raycast extension. So once again, I'm just going to go ahead and open Raycast. And then from here, all I have to do is go ahead and type in search, uh, save snippets. So once I have this command highlighted, I can go ahead and select it. And you can see it's going to go ahead and show me all of my saved snippets that I have within my library. And this is, a, this is just a really nice command to like make it super easily accessible to access all of your piece of snippets. Um, just from Raycast, it's super easy. You just command H and or whatever your Raycast shortcut is and then uh, type in search save snippets and it'll pull up for you. Um, and you can even you can see you can even uh, search any of these uh, any of these snippets that I have here. So if I go ahead and if I type in like Git for example, you know it's going to show me all of my snippets that have something to do with Git or have a tag with Git or anything or anything of that matter. Um, so yeah, and then if I go ahead and if I highlight one of these snippets and then I uh, hit Enter on it, it's going to go ahead and it's just going to immediately copy it to my clipboard. So yeah, it's a really nice uh, way of just quickly being able to access your snippets uh, through the Pieces Raycast extension. So following along, uh, the next one that I would really like to show you, which I think is a really neat one, is basically the whole experience around clipboard history and in the, within the Pieces Raycast extension. So as a developer, you know, you're constantly copying and pasting uh, you know, snippets all the time within your IDE, the browser, etc. Well, the Pieces Raycast extension basically is able to maintain a recent history of all of your clipboard uh, copies and pastes. And then with all of, the, all of that information, it's actually also able to enrich it with all, so, with all sorts of metadata, such as a title, a tag, a website. It's just a very unique way to be uh, utilizing some kind of clipboard history uh, within any application, really. So, if I go ahead and command H again, and then I can uh, type in clipboard history, and you can see we have a kind of a competing, not really competing, but Raycast also has a clipboard history command 
but here's the pieces one and if I go ahead and do that you can see it's got all of my all of my recent clipboard histories now a lot of this stuff is just uh, from like testing earlier so you can see a lot of this is not really you know like a typical thing but you can see other things like this is like this is actually something that I copied and pasted while I was coding you know this is more testing stuff did a lot of testing but um but yeah so it's just a really excellent way to see all of the things that you've been uh, copying in your ID you know here's another one that I have here um, and yeah you can see it classifies it for you it's actually gonna go ahead and syntax highlight all of it for you and it's just a really uh, nice way to basically uh, just have some sort of like clipboard history uh, feature uh, within within like any application really like I said earlier uh, you can see there's some websites on here as well and yeah another thing you can do with the clipboard history at the moment is you can actually just go ahead and hit enter on any one of these so if I went down here for example if I wanted to pick this one and I just hit enter it's gonna go ahead and immediately save that to pieces for me um, and yeah there'll be more more to come more actions uh, to come with all of that and uh, yeah uh, it's just a very new extension right now you can only save but I'm sure even once this video is uploaded there could be many many more features involved um, and then yeah last but not least I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna show like a really nice simple way to be logging in and logging out of your pieces account so you can just go ahead and open Raycast again and I can just type in sign out and you know it's just going to go ahead and sign me out of pieces and then also, uh, you, what another thing you can do is you can also just Command H and sign in. So just a really simple way to be signing in and signing out of your Pieces account. I can go ahead and do this. But yeah, so that's uh, that's just the general uh, like things that you can do within Raycast. Uh, as I said earlier, there's going to be many many more um, that are going to be added. You know, one thing that we've been focusing on a lot uh, lately is how we can utilize uh, the copilot within the Raycast extension and also of course there's going to be many more different actions on each of those snippets that I was showing you guys today be it uh, between the searching save snippets or viewing some sort of clipboard history there's even a browser history command you know for example there's gonna be more actions with like asking copilot about it uh, sharing it with pieces you know, and all, and all sorts of stuff like that, maybe modifying it with Copilot. Um, yeah, basically there's gonna be a lot more coming uh, very soon for the Raycast extension. But yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that. I hope you guys are excited to get started with the Raycast extension. Hopefully this is a good guide on showing you guys how you can utilize different features uh, within the Raycast extension. And yeah, we're looking forward to hearing lots of your guys' feedback on what you like and what you'd like to see out of uh, or for new features in the Raycast extension or even bugs if you find them. Go ahead and let us know um, on GitHub or Discord. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching and uh, go ahead and give Raycast a, the Raycast extension a try and uh, happy coding, guys.